Oh, thank God. I've never been so happy to see a fucking Gotenks player in my life, man. What's good, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Lotus Sasuke Ward, the one who never knows best. Bring you some more Dragon Ball Fighters ranked matches, and I thought I'd play some more Goku Black and Videl today because they're two characters I've been enjoying, even though I don't think either of them are that great. Even Videl getting all the buffs that she got, so I don't think she's that strong. But man, I don't even know how long I've been sitting here at this point trying to make this fucking video because I, the matchmaking in this game is just so... It's, it's, it's something, boy, I tell you. Because the thing is, when you get to my rank, I get it, and that's not a flex, but I'm just saying, like, there's not that many people at Ultra Instinct and above rank. I mean, you look at it, and there's, like, you know, a couple hundred, I guess. Like, I don't know, once you get to, like, God of Destruction, you're in, like, the top 500 or something like that, maybe at this point, maybe a little bit higher than that, and, like, Ultra Instincts are, like, a couple hundred above that or whatever. Like, I, the, the point is, like, in the entire world, there's only a few hundred people on PS4 at this rank, so there's not a whole lot of uh, room to go around when it comes to, um, you know, matchmaking and, and finding good matches against stronger players. So, like, I, I get that, but... Honestly, I don't think the answer to to get around that is giving me people who are ranked Super Saiyan God and Super Saiyan Blue and Living Legend. Like you know, I'm I'm past that. Like we we, we beyond that. And y'all don't want to see me fight players at those ranks, so I don't record those matches anymore. But man, I get I didn't twitch that. That sucks. I get so many. Wow, that beat dive kick. Interesting. I get so many of those types of games, and it's funny because lately there's been like a, um a lot of controversy. It seems like in the gaming community about uh, skill-based matchmaking in games. And I don't play shooting games, so I ain't really trying to delve that deep into it. But it's just, it's just funny to me and ironic because over here in Dragon Ball Fighters land, in the, in the realm of fighting games, I'm praying that one day they stop giving me all these uh, <laughs> low-level players. Whereas in other games, they're like, bro, sometimes I don't want to sweat. I just I just want to, you know, hang back and, and, and play the game at a casual level. And to me, I'm just thinking, like, you know, it sounds to me like you want easy Ws. And, like, I, I get it. I, I, I do understand the argument to a degree, but, like, I don't know, like, there, there's a rank mode, there's a casual mode, like, you know, some people want to play for points, some people want to play for fun, but they say that and people still care a whole lot about winning and losing in rank, or in casual, even though they claim it's supposed to be casual because I get plenty of people who rage quit on me in casual matches just like I do in rank matches and people who get upset about it and bitch and moan and I've seen people, like, send people nasty messages and shit because they're salty that they lost, all types of shit, so, like, is I don't know, man, like, <laughs> it's just funny to me. Um, but what, what, what about y'all? Where, where do y'all stand on it? I think skill-based matchmaking is a good thing, personally. I don't see the issue, but I don't know. It's just... I figured I'd bring it up. Now it seems like a good time to talk about it, if any, I guess, because I'm sitting here trying to record a video, and then I'm just like, hey, yo, if I get one more fucking Super Saiyan Blue, this controller's going through my monitor. I'm not actually that angry, but that's, that's, that's what I be thinking sometimes. Also, I'm going to spark here, I guess. Um... Nice to which that was really good patience on his part. I should have called Bedell first. I wasn't thinking properly. Gonna raw tag. He didn't to which that one. He looked like he was waiting for it, but he didn't actually uh punish me for it. Damn that sucks, I dropped that. Got him. Take him to the corner. Um but yeah, cause like I sat here and, and the worst part about it is the worst part about it is well not the worst part, but just uh, an another thing on top of it is that um I actually sat here for quite some time, you know, trying to find a strong opponent, and then, oh man, I built the bar for the level 3, I, sh I, sh I should bring in the dough. Uh, I sat here for a while trying to find a strong opponent, and then after like, roughly an hour, I want to say, um, I found a guy to destruction rank player who was playing like, Hit, Jiren, and I forget who else, right? And I was like, yes, finally! And I forgot to hit the fucking record button, he was pretty strong too, he actually won, and I'm just like, yeah, I just, I, I, after, like, start, starting and stopping the recording so many times, I just, I, I, I don't know. I don't know where my mind was, but I'm, I'm actually recording this time. We finally got a switch rank opponent, and so here we are. Damn it. It's fine. It's fine. We cleaned it up. We cleaned it up. We cleaned it up. Um, yeah, there was something else I wanted to talk about, but I'm glad I got all that off my chest, because, man... Matchmaking in this game, and like the, 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 another part about it is that oh, I didn't get my raw tag. That sucks. I tried to be a scrub. It's fine. Another thing about it is that like one of the Super Saiyan Blue players who I ran into, like on the loading screen where it shows you each other's teams and ranks and stuff, he disconnected right away. He was like, "What the fuck? This guy's Ultra Instinct rank? I don't want to play that." And, and that's perfectly understandable. Like, why should people that far below my rank and skill level have to fight me like, all the time? Like, that's that's not fair to them either. I feel like I don't know. I, I feel like DBZ could stand to be a little bit stricter with its um with this matchmaking in terms of like the uh the 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 gap or like the uh 
what's the word I'm looking for? You know what I'm saying? Like the 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 minimum that it will give me as an ultra instinct rape uh, ultra instinct ranked player should be higher than Super Saiyan God, and it's not. Oof, we clutched that somehow. Um, he was he was definitely making that comeback. But uh, yeah, I don't know. That's that's, that's just where I stand. Cause like I, I mean, I, I, I'm, I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna be honest. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna just be honest, right? Cause I was gonna say I don't mind that much, but truth be told, it's not really fun for me to fight Super Saiyan gods and Super Saiyan blues and Living Legends and stuff. And like I said all the time, square colors mean much, rank doesn't mean much. But for the people who play rank all the time, because rank is somewhat of a, of a skill indicator, right? But there are people who don't play rank, so the rank that they're at literally doesn't mean shit. Like the Kill Sage, one of the greatest players in, in the entire world, right? Third place world tour. Um. He's like Super Saiyan Blue rank, but it's because he doesn't play ranked, right? If you did play it, if he wanted to play it, he could get to the top rank, but it doesn't, doesn't matter. He doesn't care about that, right? So, like, in his case, obviously, his rank is not an indication of his skill level um, at all. But, obviously, to some degree, rank will show you where players player is at. And a lot of the times, the, the players I fight at those ranks are not very strong. They're not very competent. They're not very fun for me to play. And it's not fun for you guys to watch. And that's why I stopped even recording those types of matches. The higher I go in rank... That I try to keep you know the quality of the matches at a consistently challenging level, which is getting harder and harder, honestly, as I improve at the game, as my rank increases and stuff. But you know, we 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 trying to make do. We try to make do. Um, I don't even know if I talked about it yet, <laughs> but yeah, I'm playing Goku Black and Videl today. Um, I think I, I did say at the start, but yeah, uh, Videl got some some really good buffs in this patch, right? But I still think she's pretty weak in a lot of aspects. I still feel like her level 1 super is incredibly weak, and I get it, she gets, you know, double supers and stuff, one of the few characters who still gets that. That's cool and all, I guess, but... I don't know. The lack of reflect is still a huge deal for me. My defense is not good enough. I am not patient enough as a player. I can't believe I didn't get Twitch there. I'm not patient enough as a player to, uh, you know, work or, you know, defend well without that option. Um, her DP is still really bad. They actually nerfed her, uh, her counter super, so that's all blue life now, which... I don't know why they decided to nerf the worst character in the game in any way, shape, or form, but they did that, so I guess we all gotta live with that now. Um, all of her assists are pretty bad in my opinion too, like, her A assists and her B assists have some good properties to them, but the problem is that they, um, how the fuck did I end up turning into a guard cancel? Um, the problem with it is that they have awful range, like, really bad range on her, uh, on her A and B assists. And then she's got other problems too, but it's just like, yeah, she's got better combos now. She's got, whoops, she's got better mix and stuff, but like, I'm not better mix, but she's got, she's got mix and she's got some tricky resets and things like she, she's got a, she's got a lot of good things going for her. Like her 5L and her 5LL are really good. Her jump lights a really good button. Um, her 2M got buffed, so it actually jails in, on block now, which actually didn't used to be the case, but I don't know. I still feel like she's lacking as a character. And the, the biggest thing for me is still that reflect. Like, not having access to that option is a huge, huge deal for me still. Like, a really huge deal for me still. Also, dodge still sucks. You reflect something, it's still not your turn half the time because they're so scared of making that move too good that they make it so it's still not your turn when you dodge a normal. Like, I dodged his button, hit a 5 L, and it still wasn't my turn. Like, it's... I don't know. He messed up his mix. Get me out of there. That's fine. Oh, I couldn't block that because of the whiff reflect. That's still fine, actually. Get me out of there. There we go. Got him with the air to air. This guy's not bad at all, by the way. This guy's pretty solid. Definitely fighting for this comeback. I didn't think. I thought that the. I was very wrong. I thought that the block stun from my J2H there would keep him uh, in recovery enough, long enough to where he couldn't get a J2, uh, not a J2H, but a 2H there, but I was very wrong. Um, also, imagine, imagine, by the way, trying to open somebody up with Goku Black. Imagine. Imagine. At least I can do something like that with Trunks. What am I meant to do with Goku Black? Tick throw? Ha! Command grab? Ha! Yeah, okay. Alright, let's give this a shot. Mess that up. Both have the same idea. Nope. Damn, he lived. There we go. All right, we clutched it. His trunks is pretty good. His trunks is pretty good. He's actually—I mean, I—I I know I, I'm say I won, and I'm saying that, but like, um, 
honestly fighting him and I, I know I was doing a lot of talking not a lot of focusing on the match he seemed like one of the better chunks players I've fought um, in rank because I feel like usually most of the time and I've said this before most of the time when I fight other chunks players and other Android 18 players they're not very good and I don't think I'm that great either but what I'm saying is I don't think I'm that great and I'm better than most of the players that I fight who play those characters is like I don't know why that is but I usually don't come across trunks players or 18 players that are that good but that was fun anyway I'll be right back when I find my next opponent all right that's what I'm talking about oh B assist that's interesting I haven't really seen very many UI Goku players running his B assist and same thing goes for Vegeta Vegeta's B assist is okay. I use it a lot, um, you know, when the season started uh, and tested out, and I like it quite a bit. But I think I still prefer the A assist. But yeah, Ultra Instinct ranked player, uh, base Vegeta, UI Goku, Trunks team with the beam, a uh, pretty top tier team. Bars, we out here. Damn, I was still recovering from the key blast. I was still recovering from the key blast. That's okay. Um, that, 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 that. Can't believe I got away with that. I guess I'll spend the bar to take him back to the corner. Um, what I should have done was EX instant transmission. People who J2H after blocking the super dash in there are the biggest, scariest freaks in this game. Y'all actually frighten me, because I know y'all have no concern for your well-being or mine. Uh, I was scared to do anything there. Jumped out of the command grab. Yeah, he respected the Trunks assist. That doesn't happen too often. So many people mash through that assist as soon as they block it. I'm glad he didn't. That was supposed to be ultimate Z-Change. Tick throw? Hey, mix! Hold up, we mix it with Goku Black? Mix, mix, mix up the hooch. <laughs> Alright, we gotta get Goku Black out of here. Level 1, bring in uh, Videl for the level 3. It's UI Goku, so like, I just... I'm scaled. I ain't gonna cap. He gonna do something crazy or mash, so I'ma just... No, he didn't do anything. He just jumped. Nice. Down goes UI Goku. Okay. Off to a solid start. Uh, base Vegeta Trunks still a pretty good combo, so. Yeah. Super Dash. No, he didn't do it. Trunks assist. No. I mean, it's doing a lot of backing up. Backing up. Backing up. <laughs> backing up. Ba oh, it lagged. Uh, he still might be dead here, actually. The Devil's level 1 is so weak, actually. I'm not sure. Okay, that's still a kill. That's still a kill. Good stuff, good stuff. Maybe I should have brought in Trunks instead of Goku Black, but it's it's fine. It's it, it's fine. I'm sorry, God Slicer. God Slicer. Uh, God Slicer. Super Dash. Again, with the J2H after the Super Dash. Oh, damn, I didn't J2H. There we go. Got it that time. Um, won't EX Slicer actually just take him to the other corner? Super Dash? No, buttons. Come here, you. Back Dash. Key Blast. Oh, you know why he's getting hit by that overhead so much? Because he's just holding up. That's why. He's He kept getting hit by the jump heavy whenever I'd staircase him because he's not trying to block. I guess. Maybe that's the reason. I don't know. Alright, but that's us taking the first game. Pretty convincingly, actually. Pretty convincingly, actually. I expected that to be a bit of a tough... And this is another thing. It just goes... It further shows what I'm talking about because... I mean... And, and again, like... Well, I've, I've, I've just repeated myself on a broken record. But, like, you see, like, this guy's Ultra Instinct sign rank, which to a lot of you, and, and, I, and I guess to myself as well, is a pretty high rank. You know, most people aren't at that rank. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's pretty high up on the leaderboard, but... That was a pretty one-sided game. <laughs> so let alone like when I fight Super Saiyan Blues or, or Gods sometimes, it's just like, it's like, yeah, it's not worth showing. Although admittedly, you know, sometimes I get into a match with a Super Saiyan Blue, Super Saiyan, I'm like, damn, that guy was actually pretty good. Like that match was really close, but it's, most of the time that's not really the case, if I'm honest. Da, 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 da. Wah, instant transmission. Oh, by the way, shout out to the people who were in my stream the other night. We, during the, uh, the the Goku Black dive kick combo arc, because <laughs> I'm an idiot and huh, I uh, so the way I usually do Goku Black's dive kick corner combo is 2M, 5M, JS, dive kick, so on and so forth, right? But I guess for some reason, when I picked up Goku Black the other day and I was playing him again for the first time in a while, I started doing 2M, 5M, uh, JM. JS dive kick or something along those lines. I was adding in a, a, a JM, which I didn't used to do. 
so I don't really know when I started or why I started doing that but I'm sitting there doing the combo and I was like you know this combo looks different than how it used to because I could have sworn before when I would do the combo I would get like you know the the, the dash kick that hits the ground and kind of makes him slide a little bit right and it, it was only a visual difference so it didn't really matter and it turns out the, the version I was doing you know a couple days ago actually does more damage but um, I was like yeah this, they, did they change something about Goku Black without me realizing it and people were telling me it was like no that didn't that didn't used to work that way, and I'm like, bro, yes it did. This is this is the combo I've always done. It used to. I'm like, bro, I will I will literally pull up a video of me doing a combo and show y'all, right? And then people, it, it, and then it got confusing because a lot of people in chat, some people knew what they were talking about, some people didn't, and then one people, a couple people were saying one thing, some people were saying another, and multiple different combo routes got posted. I forget your name, but there was one person in chat who actually plays Goku Black and knew what they were talking about, and then I realized. Oh, I'm doing a different route than I used to, and that's why the combo looked different. And it turns out the, the the different one actually does more damage, so that's interesting. But um, I think the one that I used to do before looks smoother. When you just go from 2M, 5M, and straight to JS, yeah. Um, I actually wanted a DP there, which might have caught him. I'm not sure. Ah, I caught my flip. He's gonna snap. I wouldn't recommend it. Okay, good stuff. I'm gonna dash out, by the way. Um. Shining Slash. <laughs> I'll take it. It's a level one. All right, now it's time for some Trunks on Trunks action. Spicy. <laughs> All right, show me what you got. Show me what you got. Vibe check. Vibe check. Level three. <laughs> Get yoinked. Uh, uh, he surely got a spark here, right? Surely he's gonna spark here. Yeah, he sparked. Whoop, I got tagged. I'm gonna raw tag. Oop. Yeah, I, I like Videl's buttons a lot. Her 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 the first two hits of her auto combo and her jump light are like really good. Like reminiscent of Piccolo to be honest. Wow, and we're gonna level three. Yeah, but no, actually capable of doing some pretty good damage now. It's crazy. It's a shame she still has so many other flaws. Messed that up. I don't have bar. I could have extended it off Goku Black. It's fine, though. My guy pushing the buttons. Do something. Do something I can punish. I, he gave me what I wanted, then I didn't punish it. 2H? Yeah, you're dead. Good games. Good games. That is going to be it. So, um, yeah, Goku Black, I don't know what suddenly made me want to go back to playing him a little bit these last couple of days, but, um, like I said, if you've been around on the channel long enough, you know I used to main him. Um, when the game came out, I played, uh, Trunks, Android 18, Goku Black, and then eventually I was playing Trunks, Adult Gohan, Goku Black. And then when Bardock came out, I started playing Bardock, Trunks, Goku Black for most of Season 1. And then eventually I dropped Goku Black and went back to playing Android 18 and started playing 18 Bardock Trunks, and that's been my main team pretty much ever since. But uh, yeah, he's he's a cool looking character. It's a shame he don't really do a whole lot. He's gotten pretty stale over the over the last couple of years. But Arxis sees something in him. Maybe maybe a stronger play out there like Obi Assassin or Tachikawa or somebody or Sonic Fox will figure out something that I have it or that no one else has. <laughs> Only time will tell. Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Hit this video with a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already. So you can stay tuned for all the awesome content that I'm bringing. And with all that being said, that's pretty much all for today. And remember, another capital to swing the bat. Later. <laughs>